blessings upon blessings. This is J.U. Nuts from Richmond, VA. Please stay tuned for season seven of Let's Talk, Talk to the Lord. Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. And we are J.U. Trying to do what's right, but it Savior, 
Christ Jesus. I am your gospel radio apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, the apostle and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries. And thank you for tuning in for season seven of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And Kingdom, our guest for this episode in Season 7 of Let's Talk to the Lord is worship leader and recording artist Jonathan Joseph. Jonathan Joseph, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Thank you so much, Apostle Ross, and I'm just excited to be uh, on this show. I want to extend a very warm welcome, and God bless you for everyone that's tuning in to the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Show. Uh, So glad to be with you today. Amen. And before we begin our discussion, please, sir, share with the kingdom a little more about you. Who is Jonathan Joseph in the body of Christ and in the kingdom of God? So simply put, simply put, I'm a child of the Most High God, Um, trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save, heal, and deliver Anybody. That's who I am. (laughs) Amen. And, Brother Joseph, please share your story of repentance and your journey to relationship with our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. Awesome, awesome. Such a great question. Um, Well, first of all, I want to thank God that I am saved. I want to thank God that I am filled with his spirit, and I want to thank God for everything that he's done in my life. Uh, Growing up, I grew up in the Church of God in Christ. Um, yeah. Freeman Temple Church of God in Christ in Gary, Indiana. And I was saved and filled with the Holy Ghost at the age of eight years old. Um, and I have to give, I have to give honor uh, to my grandmother who's in heaven um, because she was very instrumental in leading me to the Lord. And um, it was just an amazing experience to, to be a part of, of the church uh, at that time and just be, be amongst the saints of God and praising God. And um, I remember telling my grandmother when I was eight years old that I felt that I wanted to have what they had. And she told me, well, if you want to have what we have, you got to give your life to the Lord. you got to get saved. And, you know, back in those days, we tarry for the Holy Ghost. And so I, I began to tarry and seek the Lord. And, and uh, on the official day of the convocation uh, that year, I received the baptism of the Holy, Holy Ghost. So I have... Um, been following God ever since, and I'm still still here. As, as the song says, I'm still here, and I'm I'm just excited about what God is doing in, in my life. Amen, amen, and amen again. Jonathan Joseph, please announce our topic, begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. So we are talking today. Our topic is the power of music, the power of music. And so let's go right to the word. Um, I want to I talk about the power of music. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about when it comes to the power of music is, number one, music drives back the powers of darkness and evil. Yes. In First Samuel, the 16th chapter, 14 through the 23rd verse, we see where uh, David played skillfully on the harp. And when he did so, Saul, King Saul, was refreshed and the evil spirit left him. When you get into the study of that scripture, you'll know that uh, the, the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul because the Lord took his spirit from King Saul because King Saul decided to do things his own way. And so the Lord took his spirit off of King Saul and, and then an evil spirit, or, or the Bible says a distressing spirit, came upon Saul and he wanted to figure out how can I get rid of these, this distressing evil spirit. And the Bible says that they brought David before him. And the Bible says yeah. that David found favor in the sight of King Saul. And so that when David would play the harp, that, that evil spirit would leave and depart Saul. And so I just want to encourage somebody that, uh, you should play worship music in your home. You know, when I leave my home, you know, yeah. we have these devices that you can tell to play music. And so I choose to just fill my home with worship music because I understand that when you, when you put on music, 
that evil forces and darkness has to evade. Darkness has to leave. Evil spirits have to leave. So I play worship music in my home. I play it in my car. Um, you know, if you're working out, you can play praise and worship music, find you some good, good gospel music to play, because th- there's something about when you play that kind of music, you, it shifts the atmosphere. It changes the nature of the atmosphere. And so there is one example in the Word that, that shows us that, that the power of music, and not just music, but the power of worship and praise music yeah. and what it does. If you've got, you know, distressing uh, spirits or distressing things upon you, you yeah. need to start playing worship music. You need to start playing praise music because yeah. it drives that stuff back, and it yeah. takes back the, 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 the space and the presence of where you are. So I just want to encourage the listener, you may, be having, uh, you may have a spirit of depression that's on you. Let me encourage you, you need to start listening and playing worship music because yeah. the power of that music will lift that depression, lift that anxiety. You know, we, we medicate these things, and, and, and that's all right for a season, but you need to take authority and take dominion back over your spirit, over yeah. your mind, over, your, over your, your soul. And the way you, one of the ways you do that is through the power of music. You can take back that, that which... which which is that belongs to God. Take it back, and the way you do that, put on music, begin to sing, begin to praise, and, and begin to enter into that atmosphere. And just like it happened for Saul when David would play, then those spirits leave. And, and the second thing, second thing, the second thing that, that, that music, the power of music does, is that it brings victory. Yes. If we go to Joshua, the sixth chapter, we, we, we read about, the walls of Jericho, and how they, the walls of Jericho surrounded the city and, and actually became a fortress to, to protect the enemy. Yes. But the Bible says in the, in the sixth chapter of Joshua that the Lord gave them instructions on what to do. And for seven days, once a day, they were supposed to march around the wall. And so they did that for six days. But then in the Bible says in the sixth chapter of Joshua, on the seventh day, I want you to march around on the wall seven times. And on the seventh time, I want the Ark of the Covenant to go before, which represents the presence of the Lord. And then I want the priest to play the trumpets. And then I want the people to begin to shout and praise. And so when you, when you have the presence of God, when you have the instruments of God, and you have your own voice praising God, what happened is the walls, they didn't, they didn't fall, they didn't, fall over. The Bible says they fell flat. Yes. And so the power of music, there, here's another example of the power of music and what it does. The power of music has the ability to bring walls down. I don't know what walls are in your life. Maybe you got walls of debt. Maybe you got walls of fear. Maybe you got walls that's in your home or in your marriage or with your yes. children or on your job. Let me tell you something. You want to bring those walls down? You begin to praise God. You begin, if you play an instrument, you get on that instrument. That's what happens when we come to church. See, let me, let me, let me speak to that real quick. Yeah. That's one of the things, we, what happens when we enter into the praise and worship segment of our services. What happens is people come in with all kinds of walls up in their life. They come in with all kinds of, 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 of opposing things in their life. But when we begin to praise, when the instruments begin to play, when we begin to shout, the walls that people come in with, they just come down. And then what happened is they were able to go in and have victory over that situation. The people, Joshua and the, and the children, they were able to have victory. Let me tell you something. The power of music will bring victory into your life. I don't know what area you may be facing defeat in, but let me just encourage you. The power of music will bring victory into your life. So listen, put on music, begin to shout, begin to praise God. You don't have to wait until the wall falls. You do it, and then the wall will fall. Sometimes we wait. We want to wait until we see a little bit of the victory, and then we'll praise God. That's not how God works. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please him. You've got to have the faith to shout before the wall comes down. Amen. And so I just want to encourage you, put on some music. 
and begin to use your own voice. You know, when I was in college, I studied music, and the actual your voice is an instrument. Even in, 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 in secular college, they, you're in, in schools of music, they'll tell you that your voice is an instrument. Yeah. And so you use your voice as an instrument to lift up your voice. Use the air that's in your lungs to lift up a praise to God. And when you do that, walls will come down in your life. So that's another thing that is the power of music. And then the last point that I want to make about the power of music, we see it in Acts, the 16th chapter, where Paul and Silas, they were in jail. They were thrown in jail, and they were beaten. The Bible says they had many stripes. They were beaten. And I can just imagine them sitting there shackled to this wall after they'd been beaten. And, I mean, you know, I can imagine what was going through their mind. Are we going to die? Are we going to live? Is this it? I don't know. What are they going to do to us? And the Bible says they made up, and I don't know how long they were in there. I would assume they were in there for some hours. But the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas begin to sing praises to God. And the Bible says when they begin to sing praises to God, the, their chains, the, the, the shackles that were on their hands and their feet, the Bible says they fell off. Yeah. But here is the point I want to make about that. Not only did their chains fall off, the Bible says everybody's chains fell off. Yeah. The, the power of music, the power of praise, the power of worship, what it does is it not only sets you free, but it sets everything and every uh, everything and everybody around you free. So I just want to encourage those that are listening that if you are bound by something, I don't know what's got you shackled. I don't know what you're tied to. I don't know what what got you, as they say, uh, put, pressed up against the wall. Chains. Maybe you've got chains of sickness. Maybe you've got chains of depression. Maybe you've got chains of your past. Maybe you've got chains that are on you. The way you get those chains off is you've got to make up in your mind, I'm going to praise God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to worship God. I'm going to put on this music in my house, and I'm going to praise God until these chains fall off. And not only does your chains fall off, when you do that, everything around you gets free. Your husband gets free. Your wife gets free. Your children gets free. Your money gets free. Your business gets free. Everything about you gets free. And so I just want to encourage you, don't stay shackled up. Don't stay chained up. Make up in your mind, I'm going to use the power of music, and I'm going to get free. My chains are going to fall off, and I'm going to be set free. And not just me, but my whole household, my whole family, my whole community, my whole job. Everything and everybody around me is getting ready to get free because I understand the power of music. So I just wanted to encourage you with that. And with that, I think my 10 minutes is about up in about seven seconds. So God bless you. I hope that that encouraged you about the power of music. And back to you, Apostle. Amen. Amen. And amen again. Kingdom, our topic of discussion for this episode of Let's Talk to the Lord is the power of music. Kingdom, the power of music is the expression of emotion through the medium of sound, meaning yes. from the very moment we heard music or a song, especially something that captured your attention, whether it was the sound or the beat, the melodies, the harmonies, or something in the lyrics touched you in a very special way, and you endeavor to find out who that is or who's that song by. Something grabbed your attention, especially musicians who endeavor to recreate what you have just heard, or if you're a soloist who will try to recreate or mimic the tones, the notes, and the runs until you are able to make it your own very personal 
expression. Brother Joseph, I don't think there is a songwriter who writes that does not have the goal somewhere in their mind and praying that there is something in their composition that gets the attention of choir directors like who you were that would compel them to teach the song to their local choirs and praying that it catches on fire and begins to be taught and sang across the country, which is one of the most powerful freedoms given by God. Kingdom, what influences our expressions and emotions from what we hear has a lot to do with to whom we serve and have relationship Mm -hmm. with. Brother Joseph, I have recorded many episodes over the last six seasons and in this current season seven about music, the healing powers Mm -hmm. of music, and the differences between holy and secular music. And we have talked Mm -hmm. about the beginning of music and instruments in the Bible to the fall of Lucifer. I mean, there really is no way around that part of this subject, although I try not to be redundant. However, the foundation behind the power and the expression is founded from the most part from whom we serve. God is mm-hmm. holy, as you have said. God created music for a holy worship, the exaltation of God, and for healing. However, we learned by the prophet Ezekiel the fall of Lucifer and Adam in the book of Genesis, which birthed through the bloodline of Cain, and from Lucifer's fall to Satan, they perverted and changed the origin and God's given purpose for music. Kingdom of mm-hmm. God, the Holy Spirit, is the power behind music, but Satan operates from a very demonic power and perverts what God has intended. Understand the power of the Holy Spirit that penetrates our heart and our minds is the power that severs motion from motion and has the power to heal, deliver, and heal spiritually and heal physically our bodies as well as our spirit man. The Holy Spirit moves to bring us into commune with God. The Holy Spirit brings us to tears of joy and repentance and strengthens our bond with God. Brother Joseph, I don't know of a gospel artist or worship leader who is not inspired when the crowd in the church is moved by the anointing of God from the gifts that come with the Spirit to worship and spirit spiritually dance and shout, people respond by getting saved, coming to the altar, the testimonies of miracles that come from our talents and gifts because they that's what a major part is for worship leaders and gospel artists. But as mm-hmm. I have said many times, Satan brings a negative demonic power that brings sin, lust, negative and explicit lyrics that promote a very negative energy and brings chaos to our culture. It has a very mm-hmm. negative impact on our minds and the minds of the youth that we don't want. It promotes bad morals and is very very fleshly driven. So the power that music has is from God, and since the death of Yeshua Jesus on the cross and his ascension for the purpose of the descension of the Holy Spirit, 50 days later on the day of Pentecost is the power that purifies, sanctifies for worship, and brings us into the presence of God. Yes. However, like I've said, there is a negative power since Lucifer's fall. Some may ask, why even mention the devil in a Christian song at all? And the only spiritually legal reason why we can even mention the devil in Christian lyrics is because of his cherub rankings. He was mm-hmm. the chief cherub, and the purpose is to express the greatness and the goodness of our God and the message of the gospel and Satan's ultimate defeat 
at the cross. So I want Absolutely. to encourage all who will hear this episode to surrender your all to God and join yeah. God's army of expression, especially in the day that we live now when Satan is deceiving many and has launched war against our upcoming youth generation and generations to come, not to come into relationship with God through Christ. Rather, than to use your gifts and talents that are given to you without repentance to serve the one who is a lie and deceiver and exists to steal, kill, and to destroy the goodness that comes from God. Please change and bring everyone you can into the presence of God yes. and bringing healing, deliverance, and positive change to your generation and leave a legacy to change the generations to come. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jonathan Amen. Joseph, yes. please give the final words on our topic of discussion, the power of music. Yes, thank you, Apostle Ross. So just a final thought about the power of music. You know, worship and praise and music uh, is the only eternal thing that we do. Uh, we give offerings, that's not eternal. We, give, we, we hear messages, of, uh, that's not eternal. Uh, uh, we, we, wh whatever we do in, in church, salvation, altar calls, that's not eternal. The only eternal thing we do, when I say eternal, I mean the thing that we're doing here on, on earth that we're going to continue to do in heaven is that we, we sing and we praise and we worship. That, that we're going to do that here and we're going to do that in eternity for the rest of eternity. And so what, what happens is when we enter into that eternal thing uh, with the power of music and worship and praise, we bring heaven to us. So I just want to encourage you that are listening, um, get your mind, Bible says, set your affection on things above and not on things of the earth. The way that you can shift your focus so that you're not so earthly minded and so not so consumed by the things that happen on this earth, but you can bring heaven down to your reality now, is that you can worship and you can praise. And the Bible says in Ecclesiastes that he sets eternity in the heart, the human heart. And the, one of the ways he does that is through the power of music. And so eternity, eternal things, he heaven, is set in the heart of those who decide that I want to worship, I want to praise, and I want to enter into the power of that type of worship music. So I yes. just want to encourage you in the final thought to do that. Amen. Amen. Jonathan Joseph, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. Absolutely. Well, my name is Jonathan Joseph, and um, I'm just excited to be with you today uh, on this, on this uh, wonderful radio show. And you can find me on um, social media. Um, I'm on uh, Facebook. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. Just by typing in Jonathan Joseph. And then my website, um, you can go to demacentertainment.com, demacentertainment.com. That's D-M-A-K-K, entertainment.com. And you can find me on that website. That is the label that I'm signed with. The Mac Entertainment, and so those are the ways that you can you can get a hold of me. And so I'm I'm excited to connect with each and every one of you, and and to hear and see and meet you, and and just believe God with you for great things. Amen. And please tell us about the music being featured during this podcast. Speak to your future. Yes, yes. I'm so excited that you'll be listening to uh, my new single that was released in June, uh, Speak to Your Future, which is basically a song inspired by my pastor, uh, Pastor Steve Muncy of Family Christian Center in Munster, Indiana. And uh, that's the focal point of really his message overall is speaking to your future and your future will come back to you. The Bible says decree a thing. I think that's in the book of Job. Decree a thing and it will be established to you or calling those things that are not as though they were. So I just want to encourage you through this song to open up your mouth and speak what you don't see. And when you speak what you don't see, God will make it a reality. You may not see yourself out of debt. You may not see yourself healed. You may not see yourself prosperous. But you begin to speak to your future. Speak to, to those situations, and you'll see change happen. 
So you're listening to Speak to Your Future by Jonathan Joseph. Amen. And how may the kingdom support your ministry and purchase your music? Absolutely. So my music, Speak to Your Future, is available on all digital platforms. And so we've covered all the bases. It's on Apple Music, it's on Spotify, Google Play, and it's also on Amazon Music. So any and all digital platforms you can think of, all you have to do is go on there, and in the search queue you would just type Jonathan Joseph, Speak to Your Future, and you can download it and listen to it, and you can send it to somebody and tell them to listen to it, and I hope that you will. And I pray that when you do that you're blessed, that you're, you're encouraged to not just listen to the song, but to actually do activate it in your life and open up your mouth and begin to speak positive things into your life. Amen. And Kingdom, the music of Jonathan Joseph is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio dot international. Kingdom Let's wow. Talk to the Lord can be heard on Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You can now download episodes from speaker.com found under Let's Talk to the Lord. Don't forget the apostrophe and let's. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time from KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com and 11 a.m. every Saturday from SensationalSoundsRadio.net. Please write to us at Let's talk to the Lord at yahoo.com. Please follow us on Twitter at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Dot international. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. You can now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International, and she'll play Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, we are now on Roku. To find us on Roku, go to your My Tuner Radio app. Search that on your Roku. Once you get to My Tuner, then search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Station. And if you want to listen to the podcast on your Roku, just go to your iHeart Radio app that's located on your Roku and then search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International is your 24-hour station for talk news, radio interviews, and Christian music. On Amazon, order our book, Spiritual Guidance Through Alzheimer's Disease with author Kimberly V. Porter. All of my music are available on Amazon and all digital stores. Lord, Give Me Another Chance featuring Sean E. Scales and Tamara Lloyd is available. And my first EP, Remember Now, Thy Creator, featuring King David the Vessel, a new duel, and Doctrine is also available under the name Minister John E. Ross. So kingdom until next time. May God bless you. And may God keep you living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's speak. Ah, uh, yeah. Speak to your future. It'll come right back to you. No matter what you see, you gotta just believe. Hold on to your dream. You just speak it. Stop living in your past. Believe for what God has, and it will come to pass. Oh, speak it. Listen, when you speak things you cannot see, God will make them a reality. Just have faith for your destiny. It'll come back to you. Speak to it. Oh, yeah. Listen, you gotta say it, just say it, come on and say it, oh, open up your mouth and say, say I'm healed, say I'm delivered, oh yeah, open up your mouth and say me first, the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added.
things just won't happen in your life Until you open up your own mouth and speak it You gotta speak those things that are not as though they were So let me speak some things I see the lesson Set it in your future A new mind. Say I got a new 